Hello everybody, Interinteri, back again with another video. And my title to this video is gonna be called My Friends, Novak Djokovic is not playing like a world number one. He definitely is not, guys. I was watching his defeat now against Dani Medvedev, the, the, the guy from Russia who is playing uh, good solid tennis with not many unforced errors who is a solid solid baseline player who in my in my opinion he is a, like a, a light version of rafael nadal with no big weapons uh, rafa is a, we all know what kind of a game rafa has i don't i don't need even to to explain that all of you who watch tennis and knows exactly this, exactly those uh, weapons that Rafa has. And Dani Medvedev, he feels similar like Rafa, but of course, much, much worse. He, what is, what is uh, similar to me when I see Dani Medvedev play tennis is his um, consistency point in and point out. He doesn't do a lot of unforced errors, guys. I think he did against Djokovic 20 something unforced errors. Mm. 20 something I don't know, I don't know exactly 21 or 23 something like that and Djokovic on the other hand he he produced 57 uh, I'm sorry 47 unforced errors oh my god 47 unforced errors Djokovic is playing like he has done the whole year guys um, besides that Aston Open tournament when he was really really good but besides that he is leaking way too many unforced errors guys you don't beat a solid t tennis player like medvedev with 47 unforced errors it's impossible to do just face it uh, that's too much he's giving too much he doesn't hit the ball clean he's he's not he's not comfortable out there you can clearly see that i uh, i was watching this match actually the whole match it's something I don't always do because I'm very busy. But this match, I've seen the whole match. And Novak Djokovic just wa was just waiting for Medvedev, Med Medvedev to miss. He, Novak Djokovic did, didn't hit hard or didn't hit deep. He was just waiting for Medvedev to miss. And Medvedev didn't miss. At least not much. And... Uh, Djokovic was just waiting for Medvedev to make unforced errors and to win the match like that because Djokovic doesn't hit the ball clean. He he is leaking way too many unforced errors. And I could clearly see that when Djokovic was trying to put some pressure, to put some power in his shots, they were flying out. It was clearly, they were flying way out from the baseline, guys. So Djokovic was fighting, he was trying but the game is clearly not there he is not hitting the ball clean that's why he's leaking a lot of unforced errors because when he tries to put some speed in his ground strokes they are flying out guys they are flying way out from baseline and that's why he tries a lot of drop shots as well he tried a lot lot of drop shots in this match he did a lot of good drop, drop shots in some points but in some other points he did uh, pretty bad drop shots they were stuck to the net all in all a very bad performance by by Novak Djokovic and I'm not surprised to be quite honest that's why he was not my favorite and that's why I said in my previous video a couple of days ago that I don't believe Novak Djokovic will go to the final I thought that Dominic Thiem will go to the final, but he didn't do that either. He is not consist consistent either. Djokovic is clearly not consistent. Not this year, as at least, he has not been consistent. He has played five tournaments and he has only played two semifinals. One in Doha, which he lost to RBA, and one in Australia, which he won clearly against uh, Poil, I think, after a outrageous great performance against Puyil. He only did five unforced errors in that semi-final, I believe, against Puyil in Australian Open. And he only did uh, nine unforced errors in the final against Nadal, like, like we all remember. So that was the one semi-final that uh, Novak Djokovic has played this year 
and of course final in Australian Open and this and well, the other semi-final was in Doha before that Australian Open but after that he has only two semi-finals in five tournaments guys all the other Matt, the tournaments that he, has played, that he has played, he has lost third round or fourth round or quarterfinal like he did in this match against Medvedev. He's not playing good. He definitely is not playing like a world number one. That's for sure, my friends. Though I know that he is world number one, but he's not playing like one. That's for sure. Both Nadal and Federer has played better tennis than, than Djokovic this year, guys. Federer has two has two titles and three finals. Djokovic has one title in one fi in, in Federer has two titles in three finals and and and, and has three fi and three finals all in all and has played four tournaments and has only lost two matches. Fed Djokovic has played five tournaments as as and has only one final and has only two semifinals. And has won only one title for a lot. All right, he has won the biggest title so far on all, of all the players, which is which, which is clearly the the Russell Open, which is a Grand Slam, of course. But all in all, he has he has been bad, guys. He has not been convincingly. It he has definitely not been that. Even a, a guy like Nadal has been better than Djokovic, in my opinion. All right, Nadal has not 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 a, not won a grand, not won a title yet this year, but he has played the final in Australian Open. Of course, he lost that to Djokovic. Yeah, I know, but he has been playing good, guys. In in the Wells, he was in in semi final, but he he was forced to to withdraw because of his knee injury. But he was in semi final and was supposed to meet Federer there. And here in Monte Carlo, he will win this tournament. I'm sure about that. Only an injury can stop him now, guys. And I, I think he will win it without dropping a set, guys. I'm pretty sure he will win without dropping a set. Who will beat him, guys? Who will take a set from him? Medvedev? Yeah, Medvedev is good from the baseline. But come on, guys. He doesn't, he doesn't have any big weapons. Yeah, he has a pretty solid serve and he has a pretty good backhand. I know that. Uh, he has a pretty good uh, straight uh, down, to, uh, down to line backhand. He, that is a good shot from him, but... Come on, he doesn't have the power. He doesn't have the depth, the depth to 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 to, to hurt a, a player like Nadal. And uh, Nadal, Nadal is not Djokovic. He has weapons. He has depth. All right, the Djokovic has the weapons as well. I know that, but not for the moment. What he he doesn't have a, a Djokovic doesn't have a good back end at the moment. Djokovic doesn't have a good solid serve at the mo moment. Come on, he, I think he served 54% first serves in against Medvedev. 54% first serves in. That, that's not a crazy high number. Come on. Uh, too many Amphosteros. Too little winners. I think Djokovic made 23 or 22 winners, something like that. From uh, most 25. Something like that. Between 20 to 25 winners. Something like... He, he was landing that, that kind of winners. Not more than 25, that's for sure. And was leaking 47 on first arrows. Come on, guys. And his serve is being braked four or five times, I think, in the whole match. He's playing way too up and down. He played a good second, second set when he won 6-4 against Medvedev. But then he totally collapsed in the... In the in the third set, he was down 5-1. And when Medvedev was serving for the match for to, to win 6-1, Djokovic broke him. They played a good good game there to, to take to 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 beat to 52. But then again, when he was was serving to to make the match a little more closer, Medvedev won it in 6-2 six, six in the third. No. I'm not. I am not surprised. I was not. I was not counting with Djokovic to go to the final. I'm. I was more surprised that the team lost yesterday. To be quite honest, guys, because I was counting the team. What he was. He played a good first match. He was. He won six one six four, but lost to Lajovic. Lajovic is a good solid clay court clay court player. I. I know that Lajovic had match points against Zverev last year in French Open, but lost a close tight. Uh, five five sets battle against Zverev, so that was not a crazy surprise that Lajovic defeated uh, uh, 
Dominic team, but I was not counting that Lajovic would defeat Dominic team. So, so now we have a semi-final between Lajovic and uh, and uh, Medvedev. Who can win that battle? Oh, that that will not be easy to predict. But I think Medvedev will go to the final now because Medvedev he doesn't make a lot of unfast errors. He he's a worse version of Rafa Nadal. He's a solid from a baseline with no huge ground strokes. He just Medvedev is a kind of player. If you don't have a weapon, weapons, you will not beat him. And Djokovic do, doesn't have any weapons at the moment. He he has weapons in general, but not at the moment. He doesn't have any backhand. He at the moment he doesn't have any forehand at the moment. He leaks a lot of unforced from the forehand. I think he did only with his forehand twenty five or twenty five unforced errors only with, with his forehand. Uh, that is a lot. He doesn't have any huge serve at the moment, Djokovic. He does. He 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 has never had a huge serve, but it, it has been at least better than it, it than it, it is than it, it than it is for the moment. Fifty four percent first serves in. That is not a crazy high number. Djokovic is just fighting, like he always do. He 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 fights. He doesn't give up matches. He he's fighting. He tries to win matches with 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 heart, but the brain is not there for the moment. the The skills is not there. The consistency is not there, guys. He's not playing like like a world number one. He definitely is not. And I'm I'm not and I'm, and I'm not surprised that he lost before the final. I was counting with, with that actually because I said that pre in in my previous video that he will not go to the final. He would, and he and he's not and he, and I was right. I I thought that Dominic Thiem will do will go to the final. I was I was wrong there. Who who can you trust nowadays, guys? You can only trust Nadal we, 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 because you, at least on clay, we know that he he will always deliver. He will be in that final on Sunday. I am hundred percent sure he will be in that final, and I'm and I'm pretty confident that he will win this tournament without dropping a set. Now, the only player that could challenge him was. The only players, should I say, was Dominic Team and Novak Djokovic, and both of them are out, because I don't know. I don't need to explain why why these two players can't challenge Nadal when they are when they have when they when they are in, in good shape, uh, which clearly they are not. Both of them, especially not Djokovic. Dominic Team, he at least he has he at le he had, he he's not world number one, so you cannot expect a, a great results like we we. Sh should expect from Djokovic, but Djokovic is not playing like a world number one. He definitely is not, guys. Like I said, five tournaments he has played and he has been in only two semifinals. Doha and Russell Open. Russell Open, he was in the finals as well and won that title. And the other three tournaments, he has been bad, guys. He has been bad. He has lost third and fourth round and quarter finals, guys. He has lost to players he, should, he shouldn't have lost, in my opinion. But anyway, Congratulations to Danny, to, to Danny Medvedev to his first ever win against against uh, Djokovic. I think it was the head to head before this match. I think it was three zero to to Djokovic, and now it is uh, three one to to Djokovic. So it, it, so it was Medvedev's first victory against Djokovic, and I'm not surprised to be quite honest. I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised when Djokovic loses now, nowadays. And I'm I'm not gonna have Djokovic as, a, as as my number one favorite till he proves me wrong. I've said it earlier. I'm not gonna have Djokovic as my number one favorite till he proves me wrong and win a title. At least goes to the goes to a final. So that's it, uh, guys, for for me for this video. Who will, who will win this final this title? I've said from the day one who will win it. I'm not going to change now. Absolutely not. I think no, Rafa Nadal will win this title. I think he will play a final against Danny Medvedev, and he will win. He will beat Danny Medvedev in straight sets, and he will and he will and he will beat Pela in next match now in straight sets. And I think I think Rafa Nadal will win this tournament without dropping a set. All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Take care. Bye bye.